What is up, guys? This is Matt coming at you again, not so live, from Southern Virginia. Uh, I'm just sitting down and having some lunch. Well, hot chocolate, whatever. Oh, God, it's going to be in my beard now. I'm sorry. Anyway, I thought I'd update y'all. So, uh, in this section of, of my vlog, we're going to be going from Parisburg to Waynesboro. Um, so that's like a 250-ish mile stretch, I think. Don't quote me. But, um, yeah, so the plan is um, we got to Parisburg, me and the group, and we spent a Nero there, which was really nice. Um, I'm still having this issue with my uh, uh, exterior blah, blah, blah. Some kind of, it's a tendon, basically, that runs down my shin. Um, and it's a pretty quick healing injury, but I ended up staying in Parisburg after the group left. Um, it was kind of split up time anyway. Mountain Goat had decided he wanted to start pressing on a little faster. Um, he has a pretty serious schedule and some big plans for when he's done with the trail. So um, he decided he was going to move on on his own. Um, cameraman left a little after him. but uh, I might still catch Cameraman. It might take a little bit, but that's possible. Um, and then Pebbles and I ended up staying in Parisburg for a couple days at the Angels Rest Hostel. Um, big shout out to the Angels Rest Hostel and the Tramp. You guys are so awesome. Um, made us feel so welcome. Uh, it's a really just cool hostel with a cool vibe. But um, yeah, we, I ended up actually staying in Parisburg. I did a double zero after my Nero. So it was a really long time there. Um, I was really itching to get out of there. But um, I wanted to give this tendon enough time to heal up. So um, yesterday I left and, uh, you know, my plan was to take it nice and slow. So obviously I hiked 20 miles to make sure the, you know, my zeros were worth it. Um, so not my smartest move, but I ended up making a 20. My tendon was definitely hurting at the end of the day, but, um, it's feeling good today. I'm only doing 15 ish today, 14, 15 ish today. Um, uh, and I think doing that and then maybe an 18 tomorrow will let me kind of staircase back up and hopefully by the time I'm done, it'll be good to go. So, um, yeah, so the group is split up, which is really sad. I think Pebbles is only a, uh, maybe a half a day ahead of me or something, but um, I'm honestly totally cool hiking solo for a little while. I really love that group. We've been, I've hiked almost half the trail with them so far. Half the trail that I've hiked, like 300, 350 miles, basically since Hot Springs. So it's tough for everyone to split up, but um, I think we were getting really comfortable and I think it'll be good for me to like be able to branch out again and start you know, being more proactive about meeting people. So, um, that's good. And on the huge, huge bright side, um, when I get to Waynesboro, my mom is actually going to meet me there and she's going to hike with me for a couple days. So I'm really excited for that. When you have to apply kinesio tape on trail. Uh, I am happy to report that I am something like, I don't know, I feel like I'm like 200 miles into Virginia. That's probably not totally accurate. Um, yeah, probably close-ish. Maybe a little less than 200, but I feel like I'm not getting the Virginia blues. Everyone always talks about that, and um, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, honestly, it's a really beautiful state. Um, the views, I'd say, are a little less spectacular than other states, but... Um, Honestly, a lot of times you're just kind of focusing on the trail anyway, and the trail has been nice. I mean, it's everyone so anyone who tells you Virginia is flat is a liar. It's definitely not. There's definitely some major elevation, but um, it's definitely not as bad as some other states have been. It's a lot more like little ups, little downs. Like you're still going up and down, but they're not as huge usually. So um, that's been super cool. I will say vlogging is getting a little. I feel like it's a little stagnant. I feel like it's just been so much me talking on trail. Um, obviously when I started vlogging, everything was so new and fresh that it was all exciting to talk about, but we're kind of getting into a rhythm now. So I'm definitely looking to shake things up soon. I think I'm going to be getting a tripod for the phone so I could start recording some other stuff that normally you guys don't get to see. So do hope to, uh, see some different footage coming up soon. I'm definitely trying to branch out a little bit. Oh, and feel free to leave down in the comments comments about like stuff you guys might want to see or any questions you might have, and maybe I'll be able to do like a little Q and A while I'm on trail or something. Woohoo! Coming at you from Kelly Knob. It is beautiful out today. Um, really awesome view. 
As Guthook aptly announces, there are some scary crevices you have to jump over to get here, but totally worth it. Yeah, definitely a little, a little sketch, but that's okay. I left my pack over there. But yeah, I keep skipping these awesome uh, side trails. It's like 120 yards and I was like, yes, I need to do this. This is kind of what the AT is all about. Just like taking some time to like do the side trail stuff. And like I'm literally taking a short day to help rest my leg. And I almost skipped this and I was like, why? You have so much time. Like you're not in a rush. Just like go over there and see it. And beautiful. So maybe not so nice weather coming toward us, but we'll figure that out later. I found another fleet of cows. I have not found them in the woods before. So this is interesting. Maybe they're wild cows. They're not, they have tags, but. <laughs> I wonder what's up with all these stone piles. I've passed like 20 of them and I have no idea what they are. Huh. Just ate at the home place restaurant. Oh my gosh. Met a bunch of nice folks at Four Pines Hostel and came over here for some grub. I'm gonna throw up, I'm so full. But oh my God, it was amazing. All fresh, like home cooked food. And Odie from Hiker Yearbook is about to drive us to the gas station and back to the hostel. Oh, 18 miles today, so a little further than I wanted, but it's nice to be able to chill out in an actual hostel with running water and whatnot. Go to the home place for round two. Woo! But yeah, we were gonna leave this morning and uh, then we found out uh, the home place opens at 11 on Sunday and we were like, well, we could just hike 16 miles and leave at two. So we're gonna try to do that. You gotta um, tell them how we decided. Well, Mr. 5050 here decided that we would flip a coin and heads would be going to the home place and I think I would regret this decision, but right now, definitely not regretting it. Decided. I wasn't gonna go once, and now I'm going for the second time, so. It's perfect. Oh, wait, what, who is everyone? This is Mr. 5050. Oh, where's my finger? There it is. Mr. Freight Train. Hello. And one gear? gear? First gear. You First gear. One time. <laughs> and that's Joe from Four Pines Hostel, the owner. He's super chill. Oh, a hiker trash sticker. Oh, ironic placement. This is what happens when you eat 12 plates of chicken. Just stole that from Freight Train over here. That's Memorial. Where is he? Oh God, he's falling! Oh no, he's fine. Never mind. They bring your hands. So many hikers. So many. So much chips and salsa. <laughs> Billy. <laughs> Billy. <laughs> Billy. <laughs> yeah. Um, just started a new section on Gut Hook. Just got through Daleville. Um, about, I think, 60 miles from Glasgow and 130 from Waynesboro. So, feeling super good. Um, I got to Daleville on Monday night and, uh, pretty late. Not that late. We got there at, like, 3. Uh, we did our resupply. We got everything done. Um, me and some of the folks I've been traveling with, um, which I think I introed in uh, at the Four Pines Hostel, the people from the pickup truck, uh, First Gear and 5050 and Freight Train and some other folks. So I've been hiking with them and they're super cool. I'm a smidge ahead of them now. We ended up zeroing in Daleville yesterday. Um, a gentleman named Memorial um, offered to let us stay in his room for free. So we were like, you know, I'm still kind of recovering from this uh, tendon thing in my leg. 
I've been going a little on the slower side. So I said, you want to know what? Uh, it was a super gorgeous day yesterday. And I was like, I'm tired. I want this tendon thing to be better. I've been going slow. Take a free zero. Uh, and we chilled out by the pool all day and drank and ate a ton of food. And oh, it was so good. It was probably my best year I've had. So um, I left Daleville an hour ago. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping to get to Glasgow in three days. We have torrential rain the next seven days. So not super stoked for that, but honestly, I've had really good weather for the last month. So, I mean, I've, I've gotten rained on. We've had rain more than one day, but I've only gotten rained on bad one time. So I think it's about time we get a week of rain. It is the AT, right? So uh, yeah, excited to head to Glasgow. Narrow corridor through private land. Stay on the trail. Good idea. For those of you who want to come out here, really like come out here and don't be afraid to hike solo. Hiking solo is the most freeing thing in the world. You know, obviously you have to make sure you're driven and are still getting stuff done and be open to meeting people. But if you're willing to talk to people and just hang out at a shelter, people are friendly, you know, they, they want to meet other people. So, you know, I mean, I was hiking solo for a couple days and I ran into several awesome people who are totally happy to hike with me. So you just got to do your thing, you know? There will be other people. Yes, it's sad saying goodbye to tramways and splitting up and all that, but the trail will provide. That was my trail family. The United Nations, as we were called. Like, we just all did our own thing and there were no hard feelings about people slowing up or uh, speeding up or whatever. Um, you got to do what you got to do out here. We're all out here for our own reasons. Um, you know, hike your own hike is a super overused expression, but it's really valid, you know? You need to, uh, everyone comes out here for their own reasons. And, you know, you need to decide what, what you have to decide what's important to you, you know? I think it's about finding your own pace, you know? If you leave your group and hike solo and find your own pace, you're eventually gonna meet other people who are doing that pace, you know? And the more friends, the merrier. But yeah, plan for the next few days. Hoping to do 18 to 25 today. Um, stay at a shelter, hopefully. I, I mean, I'm not gonna stay in a shelter, but near a shelter, it's nice. Um, Cause like I said, it's 60 to Glasgow. So that's like, a, it's like a 20, a 20 and a 17 we need to do. Um, so I'm hoping to do 18.5 to 25 today, depending on the weather. Cause it's supposed to be bad thunderstorms the next few days, um, especially tonight. I found a turtle. He just ducked in his little shell. Poor guy's so scared. Bye bye, Mr. Turtle. So this is the same day I left Daleville. Uh, weather's not too bad considering it's supposed to rain all day. Uh, I'm kind of walking along what I think is that parkway in Virginia because of all the views. I'm not totally sure, the Blue Ridge Parkway. So I've yet to figure out if that's what it is, but I'm mostly on the trail, but it keeps sending me across this road and it's really cool. But yeah, I am about 20 miles in to my t first 25 mile day. Um, I've done close to 25, but this is the first one where I'm doing exactly 25. So that's pretty exciting getting to do the 25. I'm really tired. Um, I'm not really tired. 20 is about where I start to, at this point in the high 20 is about where I'm like, I feel good at 20. And I'm like, I put my work in, you know, I didn't, I, you know, I started at eight and it's, you know, a little after four to do my 20. And I feel like that's good time you know you have time in camp to do your thing but you know with the nasty weather coming in this next week the next four or five days it's supposed to be raining pretty bad i figure today it drizzled on me a little but it's pretty much just overcast now i figure i might as well crush out some miles while i can it's a video don't worry <laughs> i just figure i should record the inside of this monster shelter Apparently, it's one of the largest on the AT, according to Gut Hook. It is really nice. 
Oh my gosh, look at that little, little staircase. Uh, it looks pretty new. Yeah, it's got pretty new. It's got windows. That is a big fucking snake. I don't like that. Big rattler. Hey guys, about to get into Glasgow. Um, I had a pretty good three days out of Daleville. I did a 25, a 17, and a 15. Um, I was going to go a little further today, but I think it's going to be pretty tough to get a hitch out of Glasgow. Um, I had a really late start today. I, I got up early, and I just wasn't I wasn't feeling so good. My leg was kind of bothering me. So I you know, started a little late, which is fine because it was a short day. But uh, I'm getting into Glasgow around... Four, um, and I think by the time I resupply and eat, it'll be a little late to get a hitch out. So, because then it's like a mile to the next shelter. So I definitely could do it, but I think I'm gonna try to. Uh, my mom's coming into town actually uh, in two days, so I think I'm actually gonna try to take it uh, a little slower than the next two days, just to make sure my leg is 100%. And then when she gets here, I'll be able to do my thing. So. Um, yeah, hoping there's some good food in Glasgow. I don't need a ton of food. I only need two days of food. So I think I'm going to meet her up by uh, Lexington or something like that. But more on that soon. Definitely the nicest privy I've seen. The uh, ceiling is a nice touch because you it's actually get light in here. So good job. Good job, Virginia. It's uh, around noon on, uh, what month is it? June 8th. June 8th. Um, and it's around noon time. Yeah, I just uh, finished about a three and a half thousand foot climb. Um, more like 3,000 actually. I think I'm at three and a half thousand. Uh, just coming out of Glasgow. And uh, it's around, I've said that four times. Um, I'm just, it's raining, crazy windy. I'm so happy that it's noon and I'm already done with my big climbs for the day. So I'm about to climb down to one of the shelters and destroy some foods. But yeah, I feel good despite being really cold and really wet. Hey, little girl guy. Where's your mom? This little guy just like screamed at me and it was like sounded like a clown horn and it scared the shit out of me. It's gonna be okay. All right, I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm scaring it. I am on top of a bulb and the wind is on and off like crazy but like crazy gusts it actually just died down but um oh my gosh like blowing like mad and i can i mean i can see that post is probably about 15 yards from me and yeah i mean that's you can actually see better on the camera because i can't actually see that tree right there but the camera can't and that's super weird um but yeah oh my gosh absolutely crazy weather so speed update oh the camera's so wet um uh, I've, I left uh, Daleville about five days ago, um, so I've been making good progress, except today's been slow. Um, I'm going slow today because I am meeting, I hope you guys can hear me with this freaking wind and the, and the mic being covered, but uh, basically I am actually meeting with my mom today at the uh, trailhead, like a trailhead that's like, it's like 20 miles before Devil's Backbone. Um, and we are going to go to Waynesboro for the night and chill out and get some, go to an outfitter tomorrow and that's going to be great. Um, but yeah, and then we're going to get back on trail tomorrow morning. So I'm excited. More later. I'm dying. Uh, i got to put my phone away. <laughs> 